In this video, we're going to cover the important concept of pipe thermal expansion. Let's have a closer look. Actually, thermal expansion will not have an effect on pipe, but also on pipe supports and even on process fluids. The amount of expansion caused by rising temperatures can be quite significant on long runs of pipe, especially those in a pipe rack. So, to absorb the expansion of pipe in a rack, pipe loops are often incorporated. The following figure shows a pipe loop as a U-shaped routing of the line, designed to contain the expansion of the pipe. Loops are typically located near the midpoint of a long run of pipe. Expansion will cause the two ends of the pipe to grow toward one another resulting in the distortion of the loop, as depicted here. And when multiple loops are located at the same location, as is the case here, adequate line spacing requires the deflection of each loop be calculated to avoid interference. We will see this in detail further ahead. For now, keep in mind lines resting on T-supports must be designed carefully as well. And if a line is positioned too close to the end of a support, expansion may push the pipe off the support. Take a look at the following configuration. In this example, line 108 is placed on a T-support. As you can see here, it is too close to the end of the support. As the pipe grows following the thermal expansion, it will be pushed off the support. This could potentially lead to a serious safety issue. Situations like this may require a cold spring or a longer T support. Now, when multiple lines resting adjacent to one another turn in the same direction as in this example, attention must be given to the fact that one line can grow while the other does not. In this example, let's assume that lines 105 and 106 are both expanding at the same rate and in the same direction. As they both grow, adequate line spacing will be maintained. But what if line 106 was a cold line and did not grow at the same rate as line 105? Expansion from line 105 would cause interference with line 106. So, to avoid this, the line spacing dimensions X and Y are seen here must be calculated to reflect the conditions of one line being hot and the other cold. Calculations using the hot-cold scenario will guarantee adequate spacing at all times.